Hello, welcome to the tutorial of the Elementi software. This video will show you how to use the social media widgets that are found in the widgets tab of the software. The three that we're going to be focusing on in this video are the basic widgets found in the Twitter folder, the Facebook folder, and the Instagram folder. So let's go ahead and create a new project and get started. And I will name this project social media. 350 is fine, 16 by 9 is fine, and automatic is fine. So that'll create our new project folder. And let's go ahead and open it up. All right, now let's start with the Twitter widget. Now starting out, I recommend using either the single tweet or the multi-tweet uh, SVG files because these are the simplest to configure. So let's start and add the single tweet.svg. The single tweet and the multi tweet are very much the same. The only difference being that the multi tweet can display multiple tweets at one time versus the single tweet, which only shows one at a time. But they're configured essentially the same. You'll also find that the configuration of the Twitter widgets, Facebook widgets, and Instagram widgets are very much the same as well. We're essentially going to go into this data section, open up the data properties, and here in this drop down where it says account. You can just select the account that you have connected through Cockpit. If you haven't connected your social media account, you can click the Connect Account button here and click on this link. And this will take you to Cockpit where you can create an account to connect your social media accounts to your Cockpit account. Once you've done that, you'll see your Twitter account show up here. So mine is SPX Trainer. Under Timeline, you can look at just your home timeline that you would see if you go straight to twitter.com when you're logged in. You can see tweets that are posted by you or your account, liked by your account, retweeted by your account, any tweets that you were mentioned in, um, posted by user, liked by a specific user, or you can even do a Twitter search by hashtag. So I'm gonna do posted by user. And then in the next section, start with the at symbol. And then I will type in spinetics. This will just show the most recent 10 tweets by Spinetics. You can change this number to be whatever you'd like. I'll change the refresh time to an hour and check mark to include retweets. So once I hit OK, now it's showing the tweets that are posted by the Spinetics Twitter account. You can change the slide duration, which is essentially the amount of time that one tweet shows. So I can up this to five seconds. If I want them to stay there a little bit longer, you can transition between them as well. You can loop it once all the tweets have been shown and show logo will either show or not show this Twitter logo down on the bottom left. So now let's move on to Facebook. And again, you'll see that these widgets are configured very, very similarly. So let's drag over the single post widget and then open it up. Once again, go into the data section. Again, you see this account drop down. So just link up to the Facebook account that you have connected in your cockpit account or select connect account if you haven't done that already. Now here you can do either one of your profiles that you own or you can look at a Facebook public page. So if you click on public page, you can search by keywords or with a Facebook URL. So once again, I'll do Spinetics, hit search. And this is the one I want. This is the official Spinetics Facebook page. Click OK. Now, this timeline section is in regards to the profile that you have selected. So this will be Spinetics' own posts. Or you could do all posts in case they share something um, or anytime they were mentioned. So let's do own posts. Again, the max count and the refresh properties are exactly the same as in the Twitter widgets. And then when I click OK, now we'll see all of the Facebook posts from the Spinetics page. Again, you can change the slide duration, transition, looping. Um, and then down at the bottom is actually a call to action. You can show this. It's basically just this text that says, find us on Facebook. And you can change the text that's shown down here. It'll also show you the number of likes that each post has right here as well. So finally, the last widget that I will show you is the Instagram widget. And this time I will show you the multi-post or multi-tweet 
uh, widget instead of the single, just to show you the difference between the two. So let's add this one now. And let's configure it. Again, we'll start in the data section. And we will link our account within Elementi. So this is my account. Uh, selection, again, very similar. You can do your posts, things that you've liked. You can follow a specific person. So this will be the username of the Instagrams that you want to show. So we'll do Spinetics. The size is the uh, quality or the size of the images that are shown from Instagram. So 640 by 480, 150 pixels or 320 pixels. And then again, max count and refresh, same as the other two widgets. Then we'll hit OK. And now it's showing two posts at the same time. You can change the slide duration again, change the transition or loop it. Um, but the additional properties that you get here, since this is a multi-post widget, is now you can designate the number of rows and the number of columns that are shown. So right now it's showing one row and two columns. If I want to, I could change this to, now it'll be two by two and show four posts at once. I'm actually gonna change it to two rows and one column and show you how it, how it differs. So it looks like the way that it was already set up was the best way to, to go about it. And you can experiment with these numbers as you see fit. Um, you can also add a delay per cell. So if I want the second t uh, post to show up one second afterwards, you can set that to one. This number is in seconds. Back to zero. And then the header is up here at the very top. You can show it if you want. You don't have to. Um, and then the text that's shown here as well. So Instagram, or you could do Spinetics Instagram. You can put in whatever text you want there. So all three of these widgets are very much the same since they're all social media widgets. Um, but this video can show you how to set up the very basic social media widgets, the single post and the multi-post widgets within the Elementi software. Thanks very much for watching.